Good morning. Greetings to you, Pastor Ken Harvest Church. We are headed toward the weekend, church on Sunday. Mark it down. Find a great church to be a part of. We're in person and online at 1030. Uh, would love for you to join us. We have some great things going on. Here's a thought for us today as we continue to talk about how God made it good, right? He created the world, Genesis chapter one. It was very good. Anything God touches, he turns it toward good. If you let God touch your life, your hope, your dreams, your future. But then we said, who messed it up? Well, Adam and Eve sinned. They made a choice to move away from God. They chose to go their own way. When they did, it created a self-consciousness. Everything was about me and mine. But also there was another loss in the fall in Genesis three. Verse number nine and 10, it says, and God called out to Adam, because now they're gone. God calls out to Adam and says, where are you? And Adam says, well, I heard your voice in the garden. I was afraid. I was ashamed and naked, so I hid myself. Do you know the human tendency? Here's where we have to be careful. The human tendency is to hide ourselves from God because we have self-awareness, we have shame, we realize that we are weak and fallen. Many of us have made decisions in our life that have negatively impacted our lives and others possibly so. Because we feel bad and possibly ashamed in ourselves, we hide ourselves from God. But that's when we need to come to God because through the power of the cross, He can take away our guilt, our shame, and our condemnation. Let me pray with you about that. I'll be right back. Will you pause and pray with me a moment today? Because I recognize all of us have a level of shame and guilt and condemnation in our life. I want to pray that Jesus will take that away today and He will. So Lord Jesus, I pray through the power, and the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will remove the shame and guilt and condemnation in our lives through the forgiveness you offer, the free forgiveness of our sin. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.